In today's video, we are going to warm up the body so that it will be prepared with a few key exercises, drills, and tips for the splits. That includes the front split and the straddle split. What you could use in this session is a foam roller and a mat or a soft surface. We'll begin by doing a few leg swings. You can take these with a chair, of course, to help your balance, or you can tap your foot down to make it a little easier to balance. And we can do these front and back or side across the body. You can maintain your hips in a neutral place, or you can swing your hips forward and back, allowing a little bit more freedom. I call this the star lunge series, where you'll take a few lunges across from your body at different points. You can also take your lunges forward and back, swinging through front to back and so forth. Next, we'll take all fours to warm up through the back in cat-cow. From here, we'll take hip circles, starting by moving our foot up to the side and down, upside down. Then we'll reverse that and go side up, down. You can take these in a smooth motion or isolate, holding each position for a few seconds. Don't forget to do the other side, upside down, and side up, down, either fluid in a circle or isolating. From here, we take a hip progression. And what this does is it engages all the right muscles to isolate and stabilize. And you're going to bring your foot forward as far up towards your hand as possible. This is a very good core and hip stabilizer exercise. Next, we'll take a lunge and you can pause here, take a deeper stretch, or you can push forward and back. In the next part of this progression, we'll take a downward dog and repeat those hip isolations, upside down and side up down. Then we'll step through to a lunge and push that foot back. Try to push the foot back higher each time. Only go as you feel comfortable. The main objective is to deepen your lunge each time and deepen the push back into more of a split each time. If you need a foam roller, Now's the time to grab it. If you have a chair, now's the time to use it. If you don't need to, great. But this is where we really lengthen into the hip flexor. And it's very important to make sure that you breathe while doing this, you're stable while doing this. Hip flexor is very key here, so don't leave this part out. We're going to bend and straighten the knee as many times as you feel comfortable. Next, I have a drill for ankle mobility where my knee does go over my toes. You can use your foam roller to gauge how far you're going and place that foam roller in front of you next to your toe line. And from here, we'll shift forward and back like we had before, each time going a little bit further. The object of this game is to knock the foam roller over. As long as you have the mobility and it feels comfortable for you, go ahead, push that foam roller over and maybe even lift the heel a little bit. That's okay. Next, we'll take bridges, both feet flat on the floor, glutes engaged, single leg bridges, as many as you wish. I like to do a few more than this, but for Video purposes, we are doing just a few today. We will take a stretch through the chest, arching our back a little bit and looking back as far as we feel comfortable again and forward. Next, we will take a bridge on our back in butterfly position and still engaging those glutes, bringing our hands behind us, take another glute bridge 
Shake it up. Shift side to side. Let the hips go. And then when you're ready, we will go ahead and take another progression. And what this looks like is coming to standing and back through sitting. Our next stretch will be knee to chest. You can take a few circles. One tip is to press your knee into your hand and find that active stretch. Resist the stretch. And of course, we are going to stretch the hamstrings being a key muscle in our splits. First, we will do an active stretch. This can also be described as nerve gliding where you flex your toes and you straighten your leg. Do this a few times and then grab on wherever is comfortable for you. The back of the hamstring, back of the knee, back of the calf, back of the ankle, back of the heel. Bending the knee is great for the hamstring. If you want to straighten, you can, but I've learned that by bending, you really isolate the hamstring when you bend the knee. Don't forget to do the other side. And as always, take a few breaths during this stretch. The hamstring is one of the largest muscles in your body. So very important to do that. If you'd like an active stretch, while straightening the leg, you can go ahead and grab where comfortable and resist the stretch by pressing into your hand like you're going to bring your leg down for a few seconds. Maybe three, maybe eight, whatever it is. Try it out, see how it feels. And then go ahead and shake it out. Give yourself a hug. Now's the time to open up into our straddle wherever you are at. Go ahead, give it a try. Of course, it is optimal to arch your back. But if you're a beginner or if you're not ready, don't worry about it. Another key tip, pro tip, is to bring your hips to a rotated position. Knees, toes, hips all rotating towards the ceiling. When you're ready to relax in this stretch, that's perfectly fine to let everything go and fall forward but it is good practice to try to rotate. In this stretch, we will also take a rotation through the back, which means your opposite hand, opposite leg, and twist. To make this active, press and release. Try the other side. Take a look behind your shoulder, if you can, to deepen the twist and gently come back into that straddle split, leaning forward, arching the back, letting it all go. Next up is our front split preparation. You can start by using your fists or palms to the floor and then slowly sink down. In both instances, try to straighten the front leg Flex the quad, push down. If you're advanced, go ahead and take a little arch through the spine, head tilting back. Maybe bend that back leg, touch your foot to your head, breathe, and release. Even if you aren't advanced, I would like for you to try to do this one particular exercise. Go ahead and take your foam roller or a pillow and you can be doing this on the floor or off the side of, of a bed, of a sofa. It helps to be elevated. Place the foam roller underneath your knee. Go ahead and straighten your front leg. If you can, point the toe. It's important not to lift the hips. Don't do that. Try to sink the hips down and keep the hips facing front. And we're done. My name is Desiree, and this is your splits warm-up and routine. Enjoy, y'all.